Hello there. Dave here, back again. Uh, some of you might remember in, uh, in a video that I posted a little while ago, I uh, talked about the Canon M50 and that I was not happy with the uh, image stabilization I was getting from it, and I returned it. Well, guess what? It's back! The M50. I've got it again. Yes, here it is. The Canon M50. Now, originally the M50 that I had before came as a kit. I had the Video Creator Kit, and that came with a, with a 15 to 45 millimeter lens, a Rode uh, Video Mic Go. Instead of getting the Rode Video Mic Go, I got this thing, which is also a, a Rode microphone. This is the Rode uh, Micro, Video Micro, I believe it's called, and it comes with this nice dead cat protection. So now, you see the camera and the microphone, I'm going to hook them up and I'm going to continue this video using the M50 and the new microphone. All right, hi. What you're seeing now is video shot with the M50 and what you're hearing is uh, sound recorded with this new uh, Rode, uh, what is it, video micro. The Rode video micro uh, microphone with a nice little furry uh, dead cat on it. Okay, here we are talking in to you through the M50, and I also have the G5X over here going too, so we can get two, uh, two views. So I got the M50 back uh, because I've been watching a lot of videos about the M50, and almost all of them were very positive reviews in the last uh, month or so. And I, some, of, some, some of the reviews showed video stabilization, and it seemed to be pretty good. Uh, better than what I was getting, anyway. And anyway, in the meantime, I got another new camera. I'll show it to you here. This is the Rylo 360 camera. has fantastic image stabilization. I'll show you a little example of that. So if I really want to be moving fast or, or walking in some interesting area, I'm going to use the Rylo to get really great image stabilization. But anyway, I, I do believe the image stabilization on the M50 here is better now, or I'm satisfied with it now. Anyway, I'll show you an example of that just to now. Just a little while ago, I went outside and test, tested the M50. Now with this lens, I was using this lens here. Let's see how the autofocus works. It, it's not as fast as I was hoping it would be, but it does work pretty well. This is the lens that I had on the camera. Okay, it should refocus on my space, but... Uh, I think maybe with this 22 millimeter lens, the uh, autofocus is a little slower, but it does work. Anyway, I was out there with this lens. Okay, here I am, I'm outside with the, the M50. I'm gonna just do a little stabilization test walking to the uh, mailbox. So I'll start walking. And this is the 11 to 22 millimeter lens. I've got image stabilization turned on, including digital enabled, not the enhanced, just the basic digital image stabilization. The basic image stabilization is active right now. So this is pretty wide. So it's pretty good for, for blogging. I think this is going to be adequate. If I want truly stable video, I can use my Rilo. But this should be pretty good. This lens, the 22 millimeter, uh, has an F2, uh, which means that it uh, it's, uh, lets a lot more light in. And you should get uh, that kind of uh, bokeh effect. Uh, I don't know if you can see the background behind me. It should be blurry, but if I get even closer to the screen, the background behind me, as you can see, is even blurrier. So that's one nice uh, thing about this, uh, this camera. Anyway, I've been seeing a lot of uh, demos, a lot of uh, reviews of the M50, and I wanted it back again, so I got it again. I had the Video Creators Kit, which had the 15 to 45 millimeter lens and that Rode Video Mic Go. And uh, instead of getting the same kit, I just got the M50 body only, and those two lenses, the uh, 11 to 22, and this one that we're using right now. Okay, I, did. I had to tap on the box to get it to focus on it. <laughs> but as you can see, it's focusing now. And now, let's see if it'll go back to my face. I better tap on my face again. All right. Anyway, that's the lens I got, these two lenses. I got these two lenses with the camera. 
I had been watching some uh, reviews of microphones. Well, somebody did a review of all of the Rode mics, comparing them all, and uh, including this one and the uh, the one that I got with the kit. And according to them, this one is a little better and it's cheaper. So that's probably why that's why I got this one. And uh, let's see how it sounds. Hopefully, it sounds good. Now I've got the autofocus on with that eye detection, but I don't look like it doesn't look like it's detecting my eye right now. So I'm not. Quite sure what's going on, but anyway, I'm, I've got this camera back. I'm still a lot. I've got a lot to learn about it. I've, I'm a tendency to just use auto for everything. I don't like tinkering around with the settings too much. So, but maybe I will have to do that a little bit if I'm not happy with the results. Oh, about the uh, the lens. Why well, I got the 11 to 22? Actually, when I was having that problem with the stability, when I was having that problem comparing it with this camera over here, the yeah, the G5X. Um, I called I called Canon. I, I called Canon up, and they said that for some reason that uh, kit lens wasn't that good at image stabilization, and that the 11 to 22 lens here was better, and that's why I got it. And also, I'd seen some reviews on YouTube. Uh, Sean Cannell had uh, done a video about the uh, M50 with with the 11 to 22, and it looked pretty good there. And others have shown it. The stabilization looked fairly good, and uh, even Peter Gregg, who I often watch in his Christmas room, at first he was really negative about the M50, but lately he's been doing some videos saying that it has possibilities, and and he did mention these two lenses, the 11 to 22, and the 22 uh, lens, as being pretty good. And so I, I guess I, I chose wisely when I ordered these lenses. In addition to those reviews, there was a videos from videos from Sharing Spot, which is this person, this woman who lives in uh, Amsterdam, I believe. Yes, and she did quite a few videos comparing these lenses. She doesn't have an M50; she has an M6, I believe. But uh, it was interesting to see about this lens how it uh, was an f f2 and could let in more light, and you can get that bokeh in the background. So we'll have fun playing with this. Oh, I'm back again. I had a little problem. My battery ran out. That's one of the problems with this camera is the uh, battery life isn't too great. And also, in order to replace the battery, I had to remove it from the tripod. Another nuisance. But anyway, I've got a, the original Canon battery back in it. I don't have really much more to, to talk about here because I haven't really used this cam camera too much lately. I've been play mostly playing around with the Brylo, but I uh, hope to use this more. And uh, if I do some more traveling, this is the camera I want to take with me to show the sights. I'll probably have the Rilo to get an overview in um, uh, really great stabilization, but close-ups and beautiful video. I hope to use this. And I haven't even tried uh, 4K yet with this, although I'm not really expecting too much from it, but it might be fun to play around with a little bit. So I think that's all I have to say for this time. And... Uh, I hope to do some more fun stuff with the Rilo this weekend, and I'll be putting that up, and uh, maybe we'll be doing some traveling at some point. I'm sure we will this summer. We'll be doing some traveling, and I will take this camera along with me and, and find something worthwhile showing and sharing with everybody. So that will conclude this one, and I'll be back again pretty soon. Bye now.